Hello out there in internet land, people watching the Twill Talks channel. Been a couple of days since we talked. Something I've seen quite a bit of here on YouTube recently, and something that, quite frankly, there could stand to be a lot more of, is advice for aspiring YouTubers. People who are asking for advice, asking for tutorials, asking for ways to become better video producers. So I thought I'd share one quick tip with you guys. This is something that I've seen people do who are beginning YouTubers all the way up to some of the top partners. And that's one quick, simple tip that's very, very easy to fix. Look at the camera. Yes, if you're like me and you use a camera kind of like this that has a flip-out LCD viewfinder that sits next to the lens, or if you've got a fancy digital SLR with a flip-out LCD lens, or even a webcam like I've got behind me that shows a picture of yourself on your screen, a lot of times you'll be really inclined to watch yourself in that viewfinder or on the screen and not so much pay attention to the lens itself. And that is a bit of a fatal flaw. It is very understandable to check yourself before you're filming to make sure you are framed correctly, to make sure that whatever device it is that you're showing off is in the frame and that everything looks right. In a lot of cases, I have caught myself looking into the viewfinder to make sure everything is centered. If it's a one or two second, let's make sure that everything is centered, that's perfectly fine. But when you spend half the video checking yourself out in the LCD viewfinder to make sure that you're still in frame or to make sure that you look right, that's really something you should be doing off camera. It's very distracting to the audience, and in a lot of ways it comes across as unprofessional. Not saying this to target any one person in particular. I have to say I've probably seen a dozen people do this in the videos I've watched over the last week or so. Personally, I make every effort not to do that. You'll notice in these videos on the second channel, I do look away from time to time, but basically that's because a lot of what I do here is unscripted, so I'll look away when I'm thinking about something, and then I'll look back when I've got the idea clear in mind, but I do try to keep things kind of stream of consciousness. However, on the main channel, when I'm doing topical-based things, when I'm talking to the camera, my eyes are directly on the lens as much as possible. Of course, the way that I learned to do this, and the way that might be helpful for some of you guys, is that I actually used a pocket camera when I first started out. I'm using a pocket camera to record this video right now. It's actually the Kodak ZI8, which does not have a flip-out LCD, so I can't actually see what I'm filming at the moment. I'm just assuming that I'm within the frame. Because I took five minutes before shooting to line everything up, to make sure I was in the right spot, make sure I was the right distance from the microphone and such, so now I don't have to worry quite so much exactly where I am in the video. I assume that I'm about here at the bottom, and I'm about here at the top, and I've got here to the sides, so as long as I stay within that little invisible box, I should be good to go, and I can worry about keeping my eyes on you guys and talking to you. But that's about it for this quick tip. I just wanted to pass it along to you guys if you are aspiring YouTube video makers. If you'd like to see any more tips and tricks of this kind on this channel, let me know in the comment section below, and I can definitely work that out. But as always, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.